podcast Turn your speakers up, we better have a blast Grab a drink, fill a glass Light a cigar, come on, let's make it last Pizza talk with Sal and Joe Oliver, Antonio Pizza stories, they gon' tell us Let's have some fun with the pizza fellas The hottest in the world What's going on guys, episode 33 Pizza Fellas Podcast, episode 33. Remember, guys, go on Spotify, YouTube, subscribe. Like all our reels, like all our short videos on there. Hit that button. It is free. You don't have to pay for it. Go on any of those platforms. Follow us on social media. Uh, Right now, our social media, we're almost at 1,100 followers on each account, right? Yeah. On uh, Facebook and Instagram. Instagram's blowing blowing up, up, though. Instagram's blowing up. Um, But the views, like those views... Our last reel got like 6,000 views. Keep clicking. Uh, we just keep clicking, man. And then follow us. Go to our page and follow us. Uh, to start it off, guys, you know me. I'm Sal. Antonio. Joe Rafino, big sexy in the house. Biagio Pizzeria, Pizza Fellas Podcast. I'm Lee from PFG Pizza in Allentown. If We're you say Speezy D's, I'm going to fucking punch you. <laughs> Oliver, a little too sexy. There you go. <laughs> That's good. So go ahead, Lee. You could That's reintroduce good. yourself. I'm sorry. Since uh, Antonio had a fucking ba- outlash. All right. I'm just the mobile wood-fired pizza guy. One of them out of the 400 of us in Allentown. <laughs> there you go. There you I'm go. Lee. All right, guys. So listen. Again, go ahead. Follow us. We got a lot of, lot going out right now. Episode 32 will be out tomorrow. 32. And uh, we are just got a lot of sponsors right now. Again, thank you to Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels Hard Tea, guys. These just came out. 5% alcohol. They got blackberry, peach, raspberry, lemon. It's delicious. Summer's coming. Sitting by the pool, drinking one of these. You could probably drink at least, I know I could drink probably eight or ten of them. They're delicious. And you probably can mix them with a little more uh, Jack if you wanted to have it stronger. But they're delicious. So go out, grab a case of Jack Daniels Hard Teas. Tell them, you know, Pizza Fellas Podcast is sponsored by them. There you go, right there. On to our real sponsors. Here we go. Jeff Adams, Remax Realty, 610-972-5323. Looking for a house to sell? Looking for a house to buy? Let's get with Mr. Jeff Adams. He'll uh, hook you up. Enter dot, enter.net, our good man, Juice. Uh, he's not here. He should be rolling in a little bit. Uh, social media website design right here in the Lehigh Valley. Enter.net. Franco's Pizza, Rosenfilippo Bellia. Thank you for the sponsorship in Wilkes-Barre, right across from the courthouse. You know what I always say, before you get locked up and give you 25 years, have a meal. <laughs> Lehigh Valley Pizza Shops, Oliver Nasri right there. Uh, what are you at, 11,000 now? Nice, yes. nice, nice, nice. Good job. Nice. Master Supply, Kevin and Barb Master uh, in McCungie, Lehigh Valley. Uh, disposables, containers, aluminum foil, vacuums, you name it. Get with Dave Sweeney. Where is Dave? He should be here. He tonight. should be here tonight. Yep. Well, uh, we got a lot of episodes this week, so he's yeah. gonna uh, he's gonna pick and choose. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Uh, <laughs> Tony Nasser, TNY Construction. No job too big. No job. No job, no job too, too small. small. Get with Tony. He'll build you a beautiful home. From what I understand, he built a beautiful home uh, recently, about recently. a week or two ago. Yep. Took him a week to do it. So get with him. <laughs> Uh, cement and all excavation and all was done Banco Beverage Mr. Joe Marino Mr. Jim Glassick thank you for uh, the alcoholic beverages today and Tony Gallo thank you to them again with Jack with Jack Daniels Tees phenomenal for the summer I'm going to put that on the boat this year I'm not going to litter though Um, Joe's Tees Calypso's please get with us that's popping off too I'm getting calls in Hazleton and stuff like that in Scranton. So um, get them in your shop. Get with me. I'll get you And that. you don't have to be a pizza shop, guys. No. To get these in. You could be a barber shop. Yeah. You could be, uh, you know, a pool hall. Yeah. You could be anything. Just put that there. It's just extra money that you're going to get. Paps you know? Blue Ribbon. Thank you for the sponsorship. Thank We're you. We're drinking. Uh, I'll be drinking some. Yeah, we got bit. some PBRs coming for yep. the second segment. Uh, Calypso, I said. Zoa right here. Great WrestleMania. Sal was there on Sunday. Oh, he was phenomenal. he drank about thirty seven of them in front of the Rock. Right here, so and okay. the Rock came out. I'll tell you what. There you go. That fucking crowd went nuts. Seventy five thousand people. Yes. So that was a. Uh, if that was anyone, great. I suggest any of our viewers and any of our friends here, at some point, okay, take a, take time to go to a WrestleMania. 
at some point in your life. Even if you don't even like wrestling, the experience. I was literally, I got there. I was telling him real quick before we get going. I get there. I said to Ashton, all right, we got an hour before the gates open. What the fuck should I do? What do you want to do? Let's go to Xfinity Live. We go to Xfinity Live. Ric Flair is doing a podcast. Okay. Try wow. to get some food. We're all watching him up on Xfinity Live. Shoulder to shoulder everywhere. So I said, let's go to the bar. We'll go to the NBC Sports Bar right there. We'll get a beer. Yeah, yeah. We go up. He starts walking down. He goes in the middle of Xfinity Live, and he's got a Mick Ultra, and he's ripping his joint, and he's just splurring out nonsense. He's fucking trashed. And I'm Joey's like, Dad, Ric Flair. I put Joey on my shoulders, and I'm like, Joey, start yelling woo. And everyone yelled woo. His music's playing. But he was so ripped. He said something. What did he say, Ashley? He said, hey, ladies out there. It doesn't matter. It's not about you being the first. It's if you're going to be the next. Who wants some Ric Flair in them? <laughs> and I'm like, what is this guy saying right now? But, oh, uh, what a pass. That's how he started. It was fun, though. WrestleMania, I suggest anyone. Well, good there. guests. I mean, we've got a great guest in tonight, but uh, we also got Bruno Scipioni in the house. He's on the right of me. You're left. Ashen's sitting next to him, rubbing his head. Uh, Rick is doing our boards tonight. Rick from Cisco. And I just found out he got into a car accident, so I told him to suck it the fuck up and get over with it. <laughs> Dr. Tran's in the house. Dr. Tran, what's Dr. up? Tran. Steve, the insurance guy. Steve Seiler. And our good friend over here, Mr. Jim. Jim McGandy. <laughs> yep. He just, he, just, he just appeared tonight. So, Oh, and Georgette. I, I don't see you. I'm sorry. I'm tiny now. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> All so, right. with no further ado, our good man Lee here, PFG Pizza, food trucks. I've seen you on, on social media. I like the style of your pizza. You're all over the place. So, tell us how this all came about. Uh, I used to make sourdough breads at home, and I played with dough for years. And uh, one day I was in car sales after about the 22nd year, and I was like, well... It's time for a switch. Let's go spend $10,000 on a food truck and make pizza because we've never done that before. Mm. You know what we should do to that? A shot. shot. There you oh, go. cheers. Yeah, cheers. Oh. Taking that step. Salute. 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 Salute, everybody. Cheers. Now, how old are you at the and time? And tonight is, pardon me, Sal, is Sazerac. Sazerac. Gosh, right. How old am I now? This is, this is terrible. Well, I what year did you think about this when you... No, I was uh, 37. Okay. Good Lord. Well, yeah. So you just stopped 22 years in the car business and you were like, I'm going. Four. We started, you know, start as a kid, work your way through. And I worked three years both. So 22 years is my total, technically. So I Got was you. still three years in when I was doing the truck. And then I left two years ago to do this full time. All right. Got you. So, and since then, it's been nothing but a really strange roller coaster of learning different things every five seconds. What brought you to it? Like, where was your, what, what were you doing prior to this? You just don't wake up one day and say, I'm going to make pizza dough. I'm going to get a pizza truck. So you had to have something, right. a so hobby the, of some sort, right? That, that started again with the sourdough bread making. And uh, as I kept doing that, eventually I started going into different styles of dough. And then I got a couple different books. Um, I read the, you know, Tony's book, of course. Twice. What, the pizza Bible? Pizza Bible, 100%. Read that one. Um, a few other books about actually just yeast. Um, the Science of Yeast is a great book. I read mm. that. Yeah, so, that is a good book. Um, that one, long read, very scientific, but uh, but very good. And it actually, that's where I started doing a biga, which is what our dough is made with on my trailer. Um, so that's our 96-hour fermentation. And I just started doing pizza because it seemed like, at the time, there was nobody doing that in the food truck. And going into business for myself is what I wanted and something that was mobile where I could, oh, you know, I want to work four days a week and that's what I want to do. And I just want to set my schedule. And well, here we are now where I've been up for two and a half days and I have to go home tonight after this, move the trailer, go make dough and ball 250 dough balls at least before I go to bed for four days from now. So no more four days for me. <laughs> uh, I got you. So it's a, you've developed into a it full. Is, it's seven days a week. When, uh, at your house, you have refrigeration now? And, uh, it's in the truck. It's all still in that truck that we talked it's in about? The, the big truck, the box truck thing. Wow. You ever, you ever considered like, doing that to help you out with, your, with um, some of your... Because I have a dog, I can't. Okay. So they don't like any you know, food at home with dogs is a big no-no. Yeah. And I don't have a way to separate the way the house is set up. It's just sort of open, and he can go anywhere, so I can't do it. We tried. We looked at it. Like I talked to the township, talked to the health department. They're like, no. It's like, okay. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> So you built, has the truck uh, grown uh, throughout when, before you started, like, has, or has it been the so same it, since when It's you the truck that started was I, I, 
found on Facebook Marketplace this little red trailer that was uh, for sale. It was a basically a pizza oven, a hundred centimeter pizza oven in a five and a half foot wide by nine foot long trailer. So four foot topping rail in front of you, on your back the oven, literally on your back. Like all you could do was turn around, hand wash sink to your left, and that's what I started this with. Holy shit! Wow. Um, so it was. So there's uh, not a lot of space. You're fucking tight. That one was. T- I mean, it was. Eventually, when I started getting other people to come in and work with me, we had to take the line out of the trailer every time, and then work outside. So prep the pizza like this. You know how your back feels after. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I got you. Of stretching pizza at your waist. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. So the, the a funny story with learning the curve of that was our first busy day, I'll call it. We were at Galen Glen Winery in Lehighton. This is our fifth event ever, right? So I've, I've, I don't have much experience at anything. I'm out back on my little four-foot topping rail stretching pizzas on the peels like that I had nowhere else to do it. On the peel, on the line, and then top and pass it into the guy feeding the two-pie oven. Mm. We opened. In 45 minutes, I had a stack of tickets like this. They came to the back and said, how many dough balls did we bring? I said, I think 150. They're like, well, you sold that out 20 minutes ago, and we kept selling. We didn't know. So (laughs) I'm standing back there with a stack of tickets like this, two pizzas at a time, and 150 deep. It was 45 minutes we were sold out, but three hours for order fulfillment. (laughs) Holy wow. shit. <laughs> and you're on your way. Oh, like, oh you're down God. here, and you literally can't even. Can you I, pivot? No, I have to turn and pass the peels like oh. this. To What'd the you guy do, though? So, trailer. you don't have the dough, so somebody had to start to we say. Had, we went back and canceled. Like, they've tracked down the people. Luckily, it was a confined area, but, like, they tracked down the people, refunded the money, and stuff like that. But so, at that time, you weren't using, like, beepers. Like, some of these places use beepers now. And so, stuff. now, uh, yeah, way, way back advanced. Then, you now, weren't back, using that. Back then, we're uh, messenger pigeon, maybe, uh, but. Um, <laughs> messenger was, pigeon. That was about it. Um, well, yeah, because food trucks was pretty new. I mean. Yeah. You know, in Florida, I love those food truck parks. You remember oh, that one yeah. in Naples, Dad? Like, that one's that one was nice. That was Naples nice. one. That was really nice. So that yeah. one, at that park, the guy goes there. It's probably my favorite pizza I've ever had. Oh, you've been there? He's called The Goat. His pizza truck is called The Goat. I think I remember. I'm... He's tough to find because now he just does wandering stuff. So he'll post his pop-up. This is where I'm going to be. I have 500 dough balls. Done. And that's, wow. That's what he does now. What He's kind been, of pie is he making? Just it's that. similar to mine, like a Neo Neapolitan, Neo but he Neo. does full like sourdough. Um, it's a rye blend something. He, like he told me about it, but it was very oh, so specific. sourdough rye all together plus wow. Yeah, it was it was it was you know really good. we talked about it. No, but you know who was doing that too is Nino Canulio. Yeah. He's doing he's doing a yeah, rye. He had the rye when we yeah. were there. Yeah. And wow. that was a local rye from New Jersey, yes. No, New York State. No, New Jersey. Local, oh, was it? Yeah, it was New Jersey. Because Gigi was on the shelf with the little... Yeah, where is she? <laughs> you, you and her are looking at the little... Uh, yeah, but that food, those, those food trucks and the way they are, oh, I love that it's stuff. Like a, it's a street. You just walk down... And there's a river right next to it uh-huh. that connects to the ocean. Yeah, it's very nice. Were you, were you just in Vegas or just you? He I was. was. Did you go to the Container Mall at all? No, I, I was there. Basically, we flew in. We were there. It was like we flew in 48 hours there and then boom, flying back. So uh, we did what we had to do at the show. Out there, they took a mall, like a strip of whatever. They put shipping containers in and just put stores in them and rented them to people. So now it's an entire mall made out of shipping containers. So I want to do that with food trucks. Arizo- you, oh, would, it already yeah. does. I know. Arizona, Arizona has one. Arizona has right. one. And in they're, Phoenix, they're I was at. In, and they're building one in um, Wisconsin, of all places. It's actually saw. beautiful. Like, we walked in f- any night of the week. It doesn't matter if it's a Monday or a Friday. There's live bands. There's a pl- uh, there's a park for kids to play, like a playground set for kids to play on, and then there's tacos, burgers, and then there's bars everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's there's just bars. You just go. They're not selling food. It's just bars in the middle, and f- the metal containers are all the food trucks around it. Yeah, and dude, it's the it's, whole build. There's the no building. So cool. There's one in Orlando I went to. That one was awesome. Uh, Lake what? Where's that? Lake uh, Lake Nona. Yeah, like no, no, like forty five minutes outside of oh, Orlando. Yeah, like, no, no. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, they have one there. It's awesome there. The one in uh, the one in Wisconsin, they're actually doing four stories. So they're taking the shipping containers, holy shit, attaching them, stacking them, and going different ways. So they're making a building. They're trussing it with a roof. So it will be a food truck park with a mall, indoor slash outdoor. That's uh, a great idea. 
Uh, they're, they're, yeah. Well, they're just in the investor phase, but they bought the land already. So you know what? You're not even paying any leases, or I mean, other than that container. Yeah, it's not like yeah, a, I mean, it's, there's no it's rent on the building. The, the, the concept of the whole food truck thing or container thing it's it just gotten to a whole new phase of of, of you uh, know the the brick and mortar. You know, it really. You has. think maybe like co- do you think COVID had anything to do with the progression of how food trucks have grown? As oh, a food truck who started time. in a before, positive, I mean. Oh yeah, big time. before COVID. And after COVID, I can tell you, I mean, nothing to, I made a business out of it and left my career. It was, it was COVID. But I give a lot of the thanks to food trucks in general, to Roy Choi in uh, California with Kogi Taco. His work, his social media work, his pushing of food trucks in the LA scene, it was, it was huge. And he crossed it for everybody. That was just a little before COVID. That's when it started to pick up oh, the okay. and move toward here. Um, he did a bunch of stuff on a bunch of the Marvel movies and stuff like that, where he was like, blasting out on emails everywhere he was going. So he's filming in Atlanta, filming here, and his food truck's going there. And he's literally doing that chef movie stuff all the way, telling people where he's going. Oh. And, oh. Uh, so that was one of the big first pushes. Oh, and then obviously Chef came out of that, that movie. I got a question for you, though. With your beaker, we talked about it earlier. Mm-hmm. So explain, what are you using for, to make your beaker? All right, so we use Caputo Blue. Uh, 50% of that, and then we use Caputo Red, 50% of that in the Biga, and then it's 1%. Oh, it's use- not Shinko Stacioni Blue? It's Caputo Blue? Caputo Blue. Yeah, okay. I, sorry about that. Caputo Blue, Caputo Red. It's both together. It was the other one when I first started. It, you were using Shinko? Switch. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, once I switched distributors and found I could get better and get the oh, same yeah. result, that's when I made that switch to Blue, but that's only recently. So you once. went to the Biga, and then now learning to make pizza. So you never did. You're a car ne- guy. You're, so you're I'm a ranch guy, guy, you yeah. know? And now, what are you doing? You watching YouTube videos? What are you doing? 100%. Um, Vito. I mean, I watched Vito a oh, little Vito bit. Oh, Vito Acapelli. Yeah, Vito Acapelli. Yeah. Um, Massimo over in, in England. He, he's in a... I talk to him a lot through video chat and stuff like that. But uh, Massimo, yeah. wait. Is Massimo... He's, he has, he's bald on top, right? Or am I, am I thinking of the wrong guy? He does a, a ton of YouTube. It's a little trailer, real heavy. Yeah, but I mean, his face... His... Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm thinking of the he, wrong guy. Not, yeah, not bald. He's, he's got, like, tattoos and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And no, he, I'm thinking the wrong guy. Then. He made like the dough. It's made at his yeah. house. And he, he always like, uh, like he, yeah. he always uh, challenges people. Is that the guy? Like, oh, you say this, but come here and show me. No, is no, that, different guy. I know who that is. That's, that's the guy a, from like New Zealand. He's or from something. New Zealand. Okay, okay. What does he this do? This guy's from England. What does the guy from New Zealand do? So what he does is there's people that talk shit about him, right? Always people talk shit. <laughs> so he's like, <laughs> if you could do it better than me, he goes, come, show me. To his, uh, yeah, the food yeah, truck. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's actually it's a, brick a, yeah, it's a brick and mortar. He's like, oh, come okay. show me. Show me what you could do. Maybe I'll learn from you. And nobody ever shows up. So, but you're saying something that I often talk about. Like you're talking about people overseas right now, but you talk to them. Right. Isn't it amazing how when people understand what they're doing, they'll talk to anybody? Yeah, it's totally. There's it's, no fear in the industry. This culture is very open like the pizza culture well, itself the like, pizza culture that you're seeing right yeah, yeah take yeah. it to brick and mortar no, yeah. it's a, it's a whole game. fucking and that's the thing that the pizza fellas podcast we started on was trying to change and we're still we're going to continue to try to change that culture to ex- explain what you're doing here's a guy you're in the auto business and now you're talking to master pizza iolas yeah in the world them <laughs> in the world in the world and they're accepting your phone call giving you their, their personal phone number and they'll explain to you anything you want. And for hours, if you truly yeah, want. You, whatever you... Oh yeah. oh, yeah. I have a, on my phone. I mean, I have chef's phone numbers the moment I meet them. And they'll talk with you. There's, the, the true artist of the game isn't, I'm better than you. The artist of the game is, how can we make this all great? Or let me show yeah. you my way. And then and you do it your way gets born. Well, what, what you have, too, is another thing. It's like you and these other guys that are starting out with these new Pete's trucks and all this stuff. You guys are new in the game, and you're enjoying this whole experience of having these, trying to get these people to talk, reading a book about pizza, right? right. So you got to realize 70% of the brick and mortars are old school. What about what are you talking about? I, why do I got to watch a YouTube video? Well, they don't even know what a YouTube video is. Yeah. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah. So that's why it stayed like that. But now with the growth of the food trucks and the pizzas combining like right. that, you, and you got guys like yourself, and there's other guys out there. I well, know a bunch of them. them. There's yeah. lots of them. You know, obviously, because you're in the business. But that growth now is taking this to another level, another level. So, like, if you're on our podcast, like we're up right now, this is what we're talking about. Grow your business. Learn from these new people. Try and accept things. it. And try new things. Change, change. change ideas. 
The other you know, thing it, it, there's nothing a matter. It's like a union. Somebody, I yeah. do it. I use this, and then I use this. But maybe you might like this. I mean, yesterday at the shop, we had we what did we have like 14 people there, and we were exchanging ideas. And you know, we, we, for example, we're trying to cheese, and then one guy says, oh, it's this, this. You got 14 different opinions about what I do, and it's all Italians. You're like, oh, Jesus Christ. It was a good right. day. It, that it was, was a, good, it was a great, great day. day. It was really a good day. I don't know how I fucking put them all together, but I put them all together. But um, <clears throat> we were right. just looking at some cheese yesterday, and um, I, I had, so the owners of Anna Capri came up, and I, organize it in joe's place which i told angelo about it today he's like why didn't you invite me fuck bro we didn't have room to fucking even <laughs> drink water i mean there was like literally 14 people at a table so at a table of six yeah so i mean who's sitting on each other's laps and all that shit and uh but it was an excellent it was good it was opinionated because a conversation about pizza right it no, was and, and who and was from a, the high valley thing of right. what we were learning. Who's in Scranton? How how could this what you do there transpire in, in Lehigh Valley and Lehigh Valley there? So it was a mix of things going on. Yeah. Just naturally. Good conversation. Yeah. The best part though was Lou was getting so antsy. Because my dad was doing the dough. He's like, I don't know what your dad's doing back there. I th he's playing with the dough. He's putting it in tins, wood, this. He goes, just make one of the pizzas. I was like, yeah, but I'm not making both because he wants to make one. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, no, all right, well, just come on. Let's go back there. You did Open make it, it with him. I made the first one uh, for him because he, he was getting hits. He's like, come on. we gotta What get was he it. telling you up there? I'm like, what? why is he having a, like a full-pledged conversation with him? <laughs> Crazy, but. So, but it was right, good. That, it was well, good. let's move on. Yeah, guys. So <laughs> All right, you, you figure out your, your, your yeast, what you're yep. doing. How'd you choose your flowers then you're going to use for your dough, your sauce, your cheese, what so, you're going to get into. How are you going to make this PFG pizza? The flower selection was the, the first part. It was a struggle, and it was changed like five times like throughout the, the process. I, what were the five changes? So the, Well, the first one was blue to blue, uh, the first blue to the second blue. Then I tried some local flour that I was getting from a mill up in uh, what was that, Hazleton area. Um, oh, really? A mill in Hazelden? So it's a, it was a new one. They totally went somewhere else. But the, uh, what's it called? Stony Run Winery. Not Stony Run. Stony, no, no. It's, uh, uh, it's um, uh, Honey Hole. Honey Hole. Honey Hole yeah. Winery. So we, we go up there. We, we vend a lot. And the one girl that works there, her brother was starting this flour mill, all this other stuff. So we tried his flour. It just, for me, it wasn't strong enough. It turned out at the end of the day, the protein was like 12.2. And, I, you know, I was nowhere near 12.2 and a 40... Four day fermentation on that is not. It's not going like, to happen. It was like stretching soup. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Oh, there's a hole in that one. Okay, see yep. you later. So, and then we uh, we wound up on this one, and and I like this one, but I have a feeling in all my tests I'm doing with my sourdough that's going to be coming out next year. You're going to change. I'm going to change. Yeah, yeah when, once you move into that, you're going to change to go. I no, use that. I use it a double zero. Double, or, yeah, double zero. Yeah, yeah. It's you don't all, mind saying or no? No, no, no. All the, it's all double zero. It's the Caputo uh, red. Seven. Which is, yeah, Caputo yeah. Red. Caputo Red. red. Yeah, right, but I'm... But the main flower, so that's just for the Biga. The, the Biga's a mix. The regular... The main flower is The main Caputo flower red. is Caputo Red. The, yeah. So it has that long fermentation Long fermentation. It. Yes. Yeah, it holds up yes. in the fridge. The blue seems to help it with its elasticity for some reason. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't want a lot of it, but I, I want it a little bit. You need enough. Yeah, you definitely. You just need enough. Just need a How little bit How about tomatoes? Domestic, uh, So we use the we use the Cucina from Bova. Alta Cucina. Yeah. Okay. That we get from Bova. And Grande for our, like what we call our plain cheese, which is I mean, more akin to a New York style. Okay. You know, the only difference is we don't throw any oregano in the sauce. Is it block or shred? It's pre-shred for us. Yeah, just we do too. Yeah. 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 Oh. No way. I, I Saves wanted, time. Yeah, I you want, don't. You, you saves have a shit shred. ton of time. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to hire anybody else. No. Are you using the whole milk or like the 50-50? All, all whole milk. Whole milk. Yeah, it's all nice whole milk. Rich, Grandi's rich in fat. It's good. It, 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 it holds up well in the oven. It's actually one of the only ones that doesn't just completely smoke out on, when I run high temps. You never tried any Capri cheese? I have not, I have not <laughs> tried that. Actually, the cheese he brought yesterday was a very good cheese. Had good it taste. It was tang. It, it, it was, really a, it was tangy. Taste. When we first started, the first cheese we actually used was Boar's Head mozzarella. Oh, milk. yeah, okay. Um, really? Yeah, it, that's a cedar. That's a Cedar Valley cheese. It's not. Uh, it's not quite grande to me, but it was. It was definitely got me in the door. Got people to like the pizza, but no, grande is a good cheese. It, it's, a, it's a good. You cheese. can't. It, you can't take it away from grande. No. I mean, it's it's a good cheese. Yeah, and it works well with our sauce because our like 
our sauce is more Neapolitan style. It's it's right. strictly. Basil. Are you milling the tomatoes or are you breaking them with your hand? Uh, we I use a hand I use a hand uh, 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 immersion blender. Yeah, immersion blender. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's just, uh... All right, now we're gonna wrap. That's it. Uh, it's, just, <laughs> it's the uh, insert. But anyways, we I want to try some pizza because we're talking about oh, yeah, it. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, episode thirty three. Here with Lee, PFG Pizza, we're actually going to try some of his pizza. We have the uni oven, and we got to heat that up, and we're going to try that. We'll come back. We'll talk about the pizza, your uh, other stuff, get more into stuff, all right? All right, guys. Hey, what, what you off? What you saying? Uh, no. What's off? The oven's off? It's a Pizza Fellas podcast. All right, guys, what's going on? We're back for Pizza Fellas episode 33. Remember, go subscribe on uh, Spotify and YouTube. Hit that bell. Also, press that uh, subscribe button on YouTube. Follow our short videos and all our reels that we're putting up there. And again, comment, interact with us. We'll love that. Uh, This episode brought to you by Jack Daniels. Again, hard tea. They're delicious. My favorite is the blackberry. Um, Excuse me. Summertime's coming. Sitting by the pool, enjoying this. Legs up, sunglasses on, getting a tan. Also, for those who uh, want a little more, PBR, Paps Ribbon. Great sponsor. Does well in the funnel right here. Excellent. The Freedom Funnel. Oliver, you had that the other day, right? That was good. But shout out to PBR, Paps Ribbon. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I have to to drive the trailer after this. (laughs) Go ahead. Now into our other sponsors. Oh, right. It's our good friends over, uh, Kevin and Barb Master at Master Supply Line is a janitorial food service supply company located in McCungie, Pennsylvania. Three generations of the Master family have operated Master Supply since 1989 with the current owners, Kevin and Barb Master. Their, their products include disposable food service, takeout containers, napkins, cups, and straws, a full line of cleaning and wear washing chemicals, grill cleaners, degreasers, and floor, clear, floor, floor care products. Pardon <laughs> Restroom supplies such as hand towels, toilet paper, and hand soap, janitorial mop up, mop buckets, mops, brooms, and vacuums. Office supplies and restaurant supplies such as commercial grade cookware, storage containers, and kitchen utensils. They offer free delivery with no minimums in the Lehigh Valley and surrounding areas of the Lehigh Valley, 30 to 40 mile radius. Please be sure to go online or call and speak with our good friend Dave Sweeney. 610 610- Nine six six nine six three six. That's six one zero nine six six nine six three six. And Dave still has fifty dollar bills to give out. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. There you go. That would oh, be right. funny if you kept going. <coughs> yeah, right. What do we got? Um, going in pizza. Yeah, there we go. That was so very we had good. His pizza. We had Lee's pizza. Talk to us about the what? What did you provide us with? So I made him some. Uh, Almost my pizzas because I forgot the Parmesan cheese, but we did a couple plain cheese. We did a margarita, and in the uni oven, they came out pretty good. Yeah, yeah. uni. I mean, and it was an obstacle. The oven then shut off, and we had to turn it on. But I think you did an excellent job. Unis are always obstacles. Yeah, <laughs> and we're uh, learning that right but now. But they're great, though. They are. They are great for what they are. And um, we actually just became affiliates of uni. Um, that's going to be transitioned into next week. So there's actually going to be a tab. I have to tell Juice about it on our website where you can actually click and order uni ovens or again, get with me or Sal or Joe or Bruno, whoever they'll get in touch with us. Um, so uni is going to be an affiliate of the pizza fellows podcast. Nice. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah. Congrats to us. Yeah. So, so I enjoy your sauce to get back into your pizza. That sauce, I like a tangy sauce. We were just talking about it with the pepper. Yep. That is very, it's a very good sauce. I do enjoy your sauce. I like that a lot. We've only ever had one complaint. Somebody complained it was too peppery. Oh, there's too much pepper in your sauce. You're I can't eat it. Yeah, you always yeah. have one person. Can't, you can't, can't please everybody, but I, I like the spice. The sauce to be a little spicy. So we put a little bit more pepper in than most. It's a, it's a large quantity as far as recipe evaluations go. So... It's a lot, but there's also a lot of salt in our dough and a lot of salt in our sauce, too. So it, it's got spice in it, for sure, seasoning all overall. But very simple. It's not, It's a non-cooked sauce until it hits our oven. But I think the temperature of the oven, I mean, with our floor, like not here, but our floor being normally what it is, you might actually get a little bit less of that pepper because the 
the char on the bottom sort of takes away from it just a little bit, which we weren't quite getting here. If I got you bite you. the crust and the sauce together, you see what I mean. It sort of tails off into just a better type of flavor. Um, but you still, you like, you get it if you're looking for the pepper flavor. But a yeah. little, little char helps tame it a little bit, I There's think. There's a kick to it. It's, it's, it, it's it, yeah. Good. Yeah, but I mean, in the circumstance we had here in the situation with this oven, you did an excellent job and we were able to taste your pizza and get an idea. I mean, <clears throat> what did we talk about earlier? It's the concept of understanding I, what you're eating and then understanding the situation that we're in. We didn't have the best heat. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. We, heat, we, and from, for our, any, my dough is a very high hydration. We're, we're over 80%. You're going to need some heat. Yeah. So I need, I need heat to make it crystallize. The sugar has to char and, and do all that stuff. And if you don't get it on the bottom, it's just a little floppier. But my pizza is neo-Neapolitan, like I said. And anybody who's gone to Italy, they, they don't cut your pizza. Unless you're American and you tell them you want it cut. Yep. They serve it with a knife and a fork and you cut it, you roll it, and you eat it differently than you would here. And over there, slices are not a thing. We, I mean, right. a 12-inch pizza is, is a 12-inch pizza. I get objections on my 10-inch. Oh, I don't want a whole pizza. I'm like, it's like a slice if I went to your place. It's a, it's a slice. <laughs> I just cut some edges off. It's a slice. Yeah. Uh, no, that's too much. But, yeah, you, you just you, you work with what you get. That's what I learned in food trucks. So working here, yeah, that was fun. Something yeah. to do. It keeps you going, you know? Yeah. It could be raining out when you're over there. It's going to be an obstacle. <laughs> And As always, rain and heat and all those things are fun for proofing and holding and staging dough and, and all the process you have to do on long fermentations like we do. So it gets really interesting really fast in the heat. So tell us some of the craziest things you've, you've seen since you're in this a short time. But some like you're in, you told us about where you had less dough than you had orders. But give yeah. us some stories about some crazy moments where you grew from. I mean, you have to have dozens of them, right? Oh, yeah. So a good growing experience is never underprepared dough because you don't know what's going to happen so we were going to an event pretty far away from our home base area and we did not at this time have the truck where we make the dough and stuff yet so this is a little while ago but uh as we drove down the road hit some bumps really bad potholes on 309 we were headed down to sellersville that's where we were going um we got there to the brewery which uh, eventually was in Percy. it's called free will and a all great of beer. all of our dough fell over in the trailer. So oh. each bin was on oh. the floor everywhere. 190 some dough balls, just one big mess on our floor, which we had already worked an earlier shift in. So, I mean, it was trashed because, you know, you have 10 minutes to pack up and go to the next place. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah so it lost all of our dough, had zero backup because of the four day fermentation. And this was a Sunday. So, okay, well, I don't have dough for four days because I'm going to make it tomorrow. <laughs> oh my God. And what did you tell the brewery? I was like, I'm sorry, guys. I have to go home. They were extraordinarily upset. But, I mean, I showed them. I'm like, I, ah. <laughs> how could I know that was going to happen? I hit a pothole. It knocked the dough off where it was locked into place at. And food truck life, man. You, you, yeah. you live, you learn, and you clean up a lot of messes. Lee, tell the audience what PFG stands for. PFG stands for pretty fucking good pizza. That's uh, that's what it means. But, uh, although some people come up and they're like, is this pretty gangster pizza? It, it's because of our logo. I kind of get it. Yeah. But, so that one, that one works too. If you walk up to the trailer, I'll agree to it. It's fine, but it's it's pretty fucking good. Or if my wife says it, it's pretty effing good. Yeah. <laughs> you can curse. You can curse. Oh no, she can't. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> gotcha, I can, gotcha. I can. I use it like. So you are you you're, yeah, you are good. starting with frozen pizzas, right? We are. We that. are. Yeah, we are. We're uh, just waiting on a uh, license to do it the way that we're going to do it because we're going to work this out of our truck. Wow. So it's uh, out of your truck. Uh, Wait, well, what, what do you mean frozen pizza? So we're going to, like, we do <coughs> frozen gluten-free crusts right now, and oh. we sell them, like, on our website and stuff. Um, but we're working on getting our pizzas to be frozen um, with the base concept of all the breweries and wineries that we go to, giving them an electric oven and letting them have our pizzas frozen to sell. So par-bake, top after, like, it's a process. We're still finalizing it, but I think we're really, really close. And you're to still going to develop it out of the truck? Out of the, the other, the box, the box. The box. Yeah, yeah. You don't think it's time that maybe you look to get a little spot? Oh, it, it is, but I want to, I want to make sure I get the right spot. Cause we had a, we were, we were buying a place and uh, it just zoning said no to us. And we wound up losing an, an earnest money deposit that was not small uh, because I had to back out of the deal. Cause state said, absolutely no, 
water's bad, well's bad, septic's bad, oh, way out of my budget to be able to fix any of these things. And then I still, local zoning said, well, we don't even know if we'd approve it until it's there. Okay, well, I can't do this. So we lost a chunk, which set us back. So now we have to adapt and pivot. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. That's Wait, crazy. How, who brought you into that deal? Uh, me. I mean, I found the place, but it, it was just the, the time frame, how everything had to rush as you're going by the contract. And then the state doesn't respond to you for two months. And you're just like, oh, okay. And then they tell you, wow. and you're already beyond your window to back out because contracts are contracts, and they wouldn't extend it. So Holy shit. That's crazy. Wow. I mean, it, it was it, a terrible it, it situation. Sucked for, terrible. It, it, it was awful for them. I mean, they had a business. They stopped the business for the sale to go through. It, it, was, it was awful for both parties. There was nobody happy with that deal. Um, it, was, it was just bad. It's, it was not too long ago, so... Uh, but I'm glad we're over it. We're we're moving on from that on, and uh, see if we get these time. frozen pizzas out there. Yeah. Um, Hopefully, right? Yeah, I mean that's it. fundraisers for schools. That's we sort of do that now. That'll be coming out with this is the frozen stuff. So, so now is your busy season, right? You're getting into like spring and the summer. Yeah, this and is where festivals and uh, just a whole lot of sweat and carrying six dough bins on your shoulder at a time because you can't possibly do any more, but you need to. <laughs> so <laughs> when you schedule real quick, when you schedule, do you schedule? In the, obviously, but like you call the festival and say, I want to come, or do they contact? It's more like I call the festival and say, here, please take all of my money on the hope that you have people show up, and I'll sit here for eight <clears> months <throat> waiting to get that $2,000 back and hope I get it back in that two days. So you're prepaying the festival? Yeah. We Holy prepay all shit. of it. You're prepaying for yeah. customers that hopefully show right. up. Even if it's a percentage. Mall? Fit, like you said, I'm, I'm not allowed to do the South Mall. Because there's a pizza place in there who says, that's not fair. Oh, that's Dino's. That's right. That kind of is true. What are you looking at me for? I don't know. I wasn't. Like, I mean, but honestly, it's a food truck show. It's two different, it's you know two I mean? different it's two animals. Different I, that's what, that was my, I was like, listen, you have, I mean, there's a Yakos in the building. There's a hot dog truck in the parking lot. I don't see the difference. But he's like, well, blah, blah, blah. His, was, his lease says this. and a big So I get it. I mean, it's, it's blocked by lease, so we can't go there. Yeah, they had Dorney the other day for a fundraiser, and then they had uh, October's coming up, the big one. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's one in, um, don't they do one in Coca-Cola Park? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah they do they, that they one, do too. They like do that during the summer. Do that? Uh, we've done it once. Um, it's uh, it's tough there for us. Ten-inch pizzas when you're getting walking hand, around, like walking right. around. And you it. already have a beer in your hand. Right, That's what it, so for us it becomes a, an issue of how do I make them want to carry my $13 pizza? Yep. Or they come up and be like, oh, $13 for a pizza? I just wanted a slice. You're you're holding a fifteen dollar thing of fries with cheese on it, dude. Yeah, <laughs> like it's, it's in yeah. your hand. It's this big. Yeah. It was fifteen bucks or yeah. more. Maybe and fries 20. are hard to eat. Nine it's a messy a situation with cheese corn. and bacon. And nine dollars for your corn yeah, with some butter on corn it. Corn I mean, it's my third. Yeah, I'd rather eat a pizza than a corn. Problem. Just to be honest, well, like, Oliver, the corn you know, gets messy. You know what Oliver does with the corn, right? <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's your gig, man. That's your gig. But yeah, that I so anything around here that's like your. Favorite thing to do, your favorite place to go to that you enjoy as a food truck, yes. So, we like Retriever. Um, I mean, we've been there since they started, we were one of their first food trucks. It was, I mean, our second first year, our second year, we started going there their first year. So, yeah, I mean, we've been there since the beginning. I see you guys in the lobster places there a lot, yeah. The the lobster place that's a that's a food truck anomaly, boy. Yeah, Holy golden. Cr- the yeah, lobster. You are. Yeah. What's it called? Uh, Cousins. Cousins Lobster. Cousins. Yeah. Man, Cousins Main Lobster. So we were next Where the to fuck them. Is that? That's a franchise. It's a food it's a franchise. Yeah. It's a franchise. It was on Shark Tank, <coughs> which is which Shark off. Tank killed it, man. Yeah, well, just, when I was out at the food show, we pulled up in the parking lot, then all of a sudden there's a Cousins there. Yeah, fucking yeah. hot. And they, they hot had, dog they had like ten people in line, and I'm like, uh, not even a hot dog roll. It's not even a hot dog roll. It's a hot dog roll. It's smaller. They're fucking here. How much is it? Twenty four dollars. Twenty four now. They start at noon on Thursdays. Actually, it was more in the, Vegas. The I want to say it was oh like 28 or 32. Uh, yeah, in Vegas, it's higher. There's the, yeah. it's, it's more expensive. It's much west. more high. So you're getting what, Oliver? A hot dog bun? No, Go smaller. smaller. Four inch. Tw- and you're putting lobster now. claw? It's claw meat and stuff with like a little bit of seasoning on it on the bun, and, and that's it. There's that's, a line for eight hours. On I was Thursday. starving. So, are you I was kidding? Like, no way no. am I going. <laughs> no, I bro, I'm, really, I'm have, in I, Vegas. Like, I have how's vended. the lobster fresh? I, I just don't get it. I have vend it next to them multiple times. Like literally, I'm here, they're here, and one of them was at uh, Hardball Cider. Um, so we're up at Hardball Cider. It's one of their outdoor festivals. This thing went like all day. We sold out at like 
five thirty. Um, we started at noon. We were done at five thirty. Eight hundred uh, done. I you know we weren't ready for more than that. This cousin's truck sat there with people literally walking up, going left, right. I'm standing there going left, right. They're ordering the left side of the menu or the right side of the menu. The entire strip. $180, $300, the truck is what? pumping the crap out, dude. I am telling, like, machine printing money. So when they go out, apparently they can do, like, $100,000 or more in sales at, a, at an event. In, in a day. One, one, in, in one a, truck. One truck is stocked like that. There's a restroom on there. They don't have to leave. They are there. How big are these trucks? It's a, I like mean, a it's semi? A, it's a Grumman Olsen. No, it's like, not it's a, like semi. a freight freight truck. It's, freight it is a freight like, it's, it's a freight It's the biggest, freight like, liner. single <laughs> contained food truck you can get. They have, like, the biggest one that fits together. And it has everything in it. Freezer. Oh, well, yeah, freezer. Freezer, fridge, walk-in. Like, not little. Walk-in. Open walk it, in, go cooler. in. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. I mean. <laughs> You've never seen it? It's a machine, dude. Must it, have, it, the inside is a machine. They they are just processed. Boom, 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 boom. And it comes out in giant well, they bags. sell. I think it, I don't even. I don't want to misspeak, but I think they sell their like lobster grilled cheese for like <laughs> ridiculous eighteen bucks, something like that. I, I, th- I think, yeah. I mean, the it's soup is the soup is twelve or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Can, can, I, can I, tell me, it, I, it, I want to interject in this. Yeah, go ahead, <laughs> Oliver. You said a four, four Lee, right? A four inch yeah. hot dog bun. Right? Yeah. Not a hot dog it, bun. It, it, it's, a it's brioche. Like a sw- yeah, it's, it's sweet. It's something. That's yeah, like it's a brioche. Sweet. It's cut yeah. on top, right? Yeah, and the sides like are cut. $24. Yeah. So basically, he would need six. I would need five. You know. Oh, did, okay. uh, yeah. If you so, go there, you order the left or the right of the menu because that's what you want to eat. Yeah. You have three, you're still hungry. And whatever bananas are listening to this right now, and I'm going to say bananas, don't you ever fucking go into a pizzeria and complain about a fucking $15 pizza. <laughs> okay? Ever. $24 for a little fucking thing. Those are the days when you're next to him. It hurts when people say fourteen dollars for a pizza with pepperoni on it. Yes, twenty four dollars for a lobster sandwich. I don't. Yeah, but it looks like a, a lollipop. <laughs> that's the, it's like a white bread that's it's made like, into a hot dog roll. Yeah, it's basically yeah. a, a, a it's, it's cut on top, bread, over. and it's yeah. cut on top. You have the you have the edges of the bread yeah. around it, yeah. and then you have the white bread here. And then they just load it with butter. Yeah, I mean, I'll never knock a hustle, boy. They got it, man. Yeah. This is why the and pizza it's a franchise. This is why the pizza industry is so far behind on things, and and people complain. I, I I just I don't understand. They take it for granted because it's on every corner. I get that, but your pizza I, is not the same as other people. And what, look, you put four days of fermentation into it, right? Right, dome. You're doing it hand wise. You're you know. Your wood, your setup, your truck, your fuel, your insurance, all that. And you're selling for 13 bucks. I know. And nobody Look, gets it. I could see over there when he opened up his box and I'm looking at the dough. I'm like, he has effort here. This is a lot of work. Yeah. And, you know, it, it, there's guys in our industry, they're screaming and yelling every day. And they'll look at you in their face after they scream and yell and say, nobody else is doing this or you can't find this here. Oh, my customer won't pay more than $60 That's it. for my pie. That's it. That's uh, it. Yeah, that's exactly what I just said to you. 24, so it's basically the three white, bites. The white yeah, bread. Yeah, on, you can see it. Fits you right got hand, three right bites, hand. and you don't see these guys. Where's Cousins on the internet? Where, oh, they're, where, they're there. Yeah, they're but there, I mean, but they're, they're all there. paid. It's all paid. It's all, yeah, but it's like. It's not organic. These guys are like, you're going to pay it, you're yep. going to buy it, and that's it. And they have such assurance in what they're selling. In the pizza industry, I could stand here like this, hold this up here. Hey, look what I'm doing, this and that. And then behind closed doors. Oh, I can't sell my pie for more than 16. I, oh, I'll lose my ass. What the fuck are you doing? Sorry. What are you doing? You got the balls for this. How about have the balls for that? That's what I'm getting at. I, I, that's yeah. what I'm saying straight out, you know? There's if more you're going to do a dance, make sure you finish it. Don't sit here and, and bastardize about the industry and say, I can, I can scream over here and show you all this, but I'm not going to charge you this. Yeah. It's, it, you know, you're, At, you're screwing guys that want to make money. Right. And, and, and a pizza, you know, uh, we're getting back to the pizza thing. You know, the pizza thing, large part, let's say the guy's selling it for fifteen ninety five plus tax. The person's putting three toppings on. Okay, you're getting the $22, $23. And those people are complaining about $23, $24. That's crazy. But a four-inch little fucking lollipop there is $24. <coughs> Yeah, no, and, and it, I'm telling you, it's like they're giving it away. You would literally think they're giving it away with the lines. Yeah, the uh, line doesn't stop. I was in a parking like I said, a park, we pull up in a parking lot in Las Vegas out of nowhere. Cousins is there. I'm like looking, five people deep. 
Two of them were officers. It's and I like I, I said hello to them. I'm thinking to myself, I what, what the hell is going on? It's here? The power of the brand. You say yeah. it is 100. percent Now, have you seen competition go up with food trucks and pizza guys? Like, oh, you yeah. had to, right? Oh yeah, it's always. I mean. You love each other in this business because you always got to help each other. I mean, yeah. there isn't one time when you're set up with another food truck that somebody doesn't come ask you for something. Because sure. the health inspector said, I need this, and I don't have it, and I can't leave. And Okay, well, I have it. Here, take it. And then make sure I get it back so I have it. Because <laughs> they go <laughs> yeah, in a circle. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But, well, you guys all work together. Right, we all work together. But then there's the ones like, oh, can't believe I'm with that guy. His stuff's so cheap. How can I compete with that? And then you hear that all the time. Or like, Yeah, but quality. Yeah, that's and that's it. And I mean, you have to trucks. you have to be confident in what you're selling. So you have some trucks out there that are just like bastardizing the industry, right? Hundred percent. You, you go to Restaurant Depot, you buy everything frozen, you throw oh. it in the deep fryer, and you spit it out, and that's that's what you sell. You sell cheesesteak meat, yeah. you know, all the pre chopped garbage stuff that. And oh, there's some good taco trucks out there. Though. There, are, there are there's some great taco trucks around here. I yeah, mean, they really. Which are. one's your there's favorite? One Anything that, that right. sticks out? So my favorite one closed. It, it was called Ponchos. Um, he actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Mike. Look at this guy. He's fucking uh, drooling. <laughs> uh, Mike and I were Mike and I were close. We did a ton of food truck events together. He was also a former car salesman. He's actually up in. Uh, it's a place called La Posada. Where is that? I don't. It's up north of here somewhere. It's like an hour and a half away. He he moved up there, so he's up there now at that place. Felix's Cantina in La Posada is what it's called. But yeah, that was my favorite. I would say. So he went brick and mortar. He went brick and mortar. B- yeah, bigger. A that place on end. the east side on Union Boulevard. In front of Sherman Street Brewery, the oh, yellow truck. I haven't tried them. Oh, yet. that's a good place. Man. That's where La Fricatone used to park. Yeah, that, I mean that's where they used yeah. to. Yeah, now they're they're bra- they have. But a that guy there, place that place yellow place. truck is. So I got to try food. that one. Yet. My cousin, he brought it to me one time. I was like, "What the fuck are you giving me right now?" So I tried one of the time. I was like, "Oh, this shit is good. It's really good." Um, you'll see Taco Towns everywhere. Um, they, I see that he, he's got he's got yeah Lee but he's got like a ton of trucks Miguel's yeah, yeah. got a ton of trucks we yeah, do we do that. events with him his stuff's okay it's that's more to me that's more Tex Mex than more authentic um, mm-hmm. but Cactus Blue always a, always yeah, a, a, oh they have a truck he yeah they have a, he has two he yeah he has two I didn't know that okay yeah um, Cactus Blue is great and. Uh, uh, Uno Taqueria is, yeah. is Uno also Taqueria good. Is good. Yeah, Taqueria I like is Uno good. Taqueria. Yeah. He's setting up on Walbert Avenue now, so it's kind of like drive by, grab he, it. Well, he's <laughs> he's got a brick and mortar, I think, over here, right? I just saw the truck parked on Walbert. He was like, yeah. "Am I thinking the right place?" Uno Taqueria over there, but on Mill Creek, or is that not Uno Taqueria? Mm, I don't know where on Mill, Mill Creek. Creek. Yeah. Right where we used to be, um, used to be the old um, holy you know this place, page, right? In the sh- oh, in the oh, yeah, shopping yeah. center you're talking about yeah. on the newer side. On the newer side, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I maybe it's something like that. Oh, geez, you got right six thousand two hundred people on Leah Valley food trucks now. It's all the food trucks, but it's a lot of people requesting food trucks for big companies in oh, industrial yeah, we, park. We, I pull tons of bookings off that site. Oh, really? One hundred percent. But you know what? It, it's one of those things. It's everything that we have to do in, in this the food truck business. Okay, so I don't have people walk into me. I got to find them. Uh huh. The way because. Private events are where, I mean, we would mu- I would much rather cater weddings and, and stuff than necessarily sit there and do a festival where I have to kill myself for eight hours and then go kill myself for another eight hours to prep for the next eight hours and just keep on going in that cycle of sleeping for three hours um, or do weddings. But we got to find them. So on there, it's a great party, stuff like that. And I we, see your pricing online on yeah, your website. We're, I, I try to be as transparent as I can. And people say, well, I can't believe how expensive that is. We're literally I don't think bringing it is. a restaurant to your property for a thousand dollars. Like I, yeah, I think what we're saying it was two hours unlimited fifty pizza. people for two hours unlimited, uh, yeah. just pizza, and you get six choices. I believe it for was a grand. It's for twelve hundred. Twelve hundred bucks. bucks. Yeah, 1, it, it used bucks. To, a grand was our initial. Price, but I'm saying, yeah. but it's still twelve. That's not bad at all. Right. For no. Two hours no. of pizza and we we take and our six different with pizzas. Us. We, we set it out buffet style, or if you would rather people come to the window and order what they want, we'll do it that way. I mean, we're it's easy to switch and we have all the other stuff that we can make to to bring with it you know to so have. you you predominantly make pizza right Nothing yeah else. i mean well we do well no oh we, so this is good that good we just <laughs> talked about this yeah tonight tell them what you did oh so tonight the smoked with every the smoke. yeah, yeah yeah every wednesday at retriever brewing we have a special there um because wednesdays are, are dead at some places that they just are when you're out further so we're trying to get people out there so we do wood-fired hot dog flights so we actually hmm. take our pizza dough. I, one of those balls, I cut into four strips, like pat it flat, but not all the way. Cut it into four strips, put the hot dog in it, wrap the ends over, press it down, put that in the oven, 
cook it in our oven, our temperature, just like we cook our pizzas. They're done in about uh, two minutes, maybe, and we have to turn them a little often. And then we have all these crazy toppings that we put on them. Like one's called the K Dog. It's got kimchi ketchup and curry mayo and potato sticks on it. And then we have a, a pig oh. dog, which is like our smoked pork that we make with Jack Daniels barbecue sauce and Jack Daniels. bacon. And uh, yeah, see, look, Jack Daniels. It plays yeah. in. Good place. Actually, <laughs> that sounds fucking delicious. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, how so, did that end up on the hot dog site? <laughs> it is on the, we are, we just made it on the hot dog I site. I was just seen it posted. Somebody just posted, there's, Jeff you'll see Rush. three dogs that look totally different than any hot dog you've seen around here. Those are ours. They got the char marks on the bun and stuff, so you can't you can't miss it. But they, uh, it it's intriguing. I found this idea from a place in Argentina. Again, we go back to they're a wood fired pizza place, but they make these. They call them panchinitos over there, which is what technically what so I'm you, doing is. You talk to those people? Or? I didn't talk a mess. I mean, just text That's back and okay. forth, like post, and they res- like they respond. And then I have to hit translate because it's. <laughs> Totally different language, <laughs> and then I'm hoping the translates pretty close, but some of it seems weird. But I, so I'm, I'm sort of like playing on what they're doing. They do it more with sausages compared to our hot dogs because they don't yeah. really know what hot dogs are. Yeah. Right, right, it's, right, right. it's not the same to them. So theirs are sausages, but uh, I mean they they looked amazing, and and I'll t- it's it's definitely interesting. I would not want to do it as something that I have to do with any speed, like our pizzas, because, man, does that slow down the kitchen? Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, you'd have to be prepared The table's for that. moving a little, there's a lot more preparation in that. Yeah, there's a lot more time and folding and pushing, and you're not just throwing it a few times and throwing it over to the other guy, and then he's putting stuff on. It's it's different. So Wednesdays at Retriever, if you come get the hot dog flights, 12 bucks for three of them. That's, that's a nice a, thing. That's a, <laughs> shit, that's a good price. You have well, any uh, right now or no? <laughs> <laughs> not not in this truck. Over the truck is at Retriever. That's where I'm going after this to pick it up. There's oh tons wow! Of, actually, no. They they text me before we sold out of hot dog flights tonight. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh wow! Good good good, go. good 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 good. Uh, it's again one of those things. You can't keep track of what you're going to do when in, in this business. And I don't have the, I don't have a cooler to walk into. Yep. <laughs> no, you have you have special circumstances. <laughs> well, I think we're out. I think you're doing a great job, Lee. We all appreciate you coming in, making a pizza, couple pizzas for us. They were delicious. Honestly, I wish the best of luck to you and your business and your family. Uh, one last thing we always like to ask our guests. Well, two things. Well, two things. Well, real quick, any advice you want to give to anybody out there trying to start a food truck, want to get into that business, something that you would tell them? Work on one first. Uh, find, trust me, we'll, we'll let you. If anybody wants to see what it's like to do this, I will show you. You can literally shadow me for two days, and I guarantee you'll run. Unless you have, like, you you have to love it. You have to breathe it, sleep it, eat it. it. There is no two ways about it. It is everything we do. My wife hates it because it is everything she does, too, because she does all the bookings. I did, there's wow. just not enough for, there's not enough of me to go around for everything. And since I'm the She only, does all the bookings. She Yeah, like, so if you message in and talk, like, whoever was messaging was talking to her. Me. Okay, so you were you were technically talking. I mean, I can see everything, yeah. but most of the time I'm on the road or in making dough. Or yeah. You're doing just, other things. It's yeah, exhausting it's just, if you have to. Yeah, yep. I, I get it. I'm the one who does the sales, so, like, I always have alerts. Like, we have like food trucks. I have to check it every 20 minutes because everybody else does. So if you're not one of the first ones to uh. post or message the person – then you're going to miss out on, on that event, which then leads to a whole new different problem. Do I cancel a place where I know I'm not going to do good with my truck to take a private party? But you yeah, sometimes it, it evens out. out. You, you don't want to make people mad, but you know you don't want to do $500 when you could do $5,000 in the same amount of time. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what a challenge. What a challenge. I mean, I got one question for you, though. What's the best fucking podcast in the world? Oh, this one, 100%. Pizza, Pizza Fellas Podcast. There you go. All right. So let me get to the sponsorships again. Jeff Adams at Remax Realty, 610-972-5323. Thank you, Jeff. Enter.net, Juice Never Showed, but we got Rick from Cisco that's doing the boards tonight. Social media, website design, all that good stuff, uh, all that good stuff located in the Lehigh Valley. Franco's Pizza, Rose and Filippo Belli on Wilkes-Barre. Lehigh Valley Pizza Shops, Oliver Nasri to my left, to your right. Master Supply, Kevin and Barb Master, and our good friend Dave Sweeney. Uh, TNY Construction, Tony Nasser, no job too big, no, no job too, too small. small. Banco Beverage, our good men, Joe Marino, Jim Glassick, and Tony Gallo. Jack Daniels Tees, thank you for the sponsorship. Paps Blue Ribbon, 
Thank you for the sponsorship. Joe's Tees and Calypso, thank you. Our good man Rock that wrestled in WrestleMania, he bought us, bought us some Zoas here. Okay, that's another one. Get on this too. Get with, excuse me, get with me. Um, thank you again to our good friend Lee here at PFG Pizza in Allentown. Um, another thing, if you guys want to see us live, I suggest you take a trip to New Jersey, May 13th. <laughs> That's a Monday at the Liberty House in Jersey City. It's actually the Anarchy Food Show, but we will have our podcast set up outside overlooking Manhattan. So if you want to take pictures of Manhattan and take pictures of us, that's fine. We'll allow it. Kidding. It's actually one of the best fucking places it's, to have a food show. It's amazing. I Last mean, year, just as so... <laughs> Because though I think we drank the bar at a Heineken. We had yeah, I think fifty Heineken empty bottles on the table. There was cabanas outside, and I was asking, "Where's Sal and Jerry? They're at the cabana. What fucking cabana? I didn't even know there was cabanas out there, but they're they took over. So we're gonna be there. We're gonna have the podcast set up. There's gonna be a lot, a lot of pizza guys there. So come see us there if you'd like. Uh, that's the Liberty House in Jersey City, May thirteenth. It's a Monday from. 10 o'clock to about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I want to give a, sh a special shout-out to Vito Reikia. He's actually in the world. V Vitangelo. I call him Vito. Uh, Vitangelo. Okay. Vitangelo Reikia. He's in the world. He's doing a great job. He's in the World Pizza Championships in Italy. Actually, he was uh, today and tomorrow. So, hopefully, he's uh, last go, year's champion. Let's go, So, we got to bring go. that home. Vito, Let's bring go. that home. Um, hopefully, he, uh, he does bring it home. So I wish him lots and lots of luck on that. Um, that's basically all I got. Again, all right. well, thank cheers. you to Lee. Lee. Hey, thanks. Pizza. Cheers to your thanks business. Thanks for having me. Thank cheers, you again. Everybody. There you go. Oh, oh thanks, so. Salud. Cheers. Salud. <laughs> oh. uh. And shout out to the coldest water cooler. I think I'm drinking like a gallon a day now. Yeah, so. you are. That's good. You need yeah. to. You're supposed well, to. You're, you're supposed to. Yeah. So. Well, guys, episode 33, there you go. We're going to wrap it up. Remember, go follow us on Spotify and YouTube. Subscribe, comment. Episode 33, thanks for being with us, guys. Thank, Thank you. you, Lee. That was good. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was fun. I like this. Oh, yeah.